Hey guys. Right, so, if you guys remember, um, I did a video on mostly cyberbullying. However, I was rambling on about something irrelevant, but I did put a link in the description saying, if you want to skip my rambling, skip to this bit. This video is going to be purely on the subject of bullying. Now, uh, anyone who knows me, well, anyone who kn knew what my school life was about, I mostly got bullied. Verbally, mostly verbally, sometimes physically. Um, thankfully, I never suffered anything serious. Um, unlike this one girl that I heard about. It was on the news and everything. <laughs> because my school had a pretty big, big bullying problem. Rather than focusing on that, they chose to focus on academics. And like, and if you told the teacher or something, they would do diddly squat. You were pretty much on your own. <laughs> but yes, I would like to um, address that. Because bullying doesn't just belong on the playground, as I said in my previous video, and as everybody knows, cyberbullying is still around. To a certain extent, it can be considered a criminal offence. And... Last year, I experienced quite a lot of it. In fact, a lot of people did. And that is truly terrible. It truly is. So... Oh. So I've just been watching, because uh, the subject of bullying has been rattling around in my head for quite a while. And so I decided to watch some anti-bullying videos. Just to see um, how aware people are. Well, everyone's aware, but you know what I mean. Um, and what's being done about it, really. And that gave me an idea to do this. Uh, well, my upload frequency has been, well, daily so far. It's weird. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I agree, bullying is not right, it's, it's horrible, and shamefully, I've been known to bully myself. Unintentionally, yes, but that, that doesn't make it right. And to those I've bullied, I have apologised to, and many have accepted my apology. I haven't bu bullied a lot of people, but those that I have bullied, I've... I've apologize to them and they have accepted it and it's all good now everything's fine however there's one bullying video that I mostly had no problem with I agreed with everything this person was saying that cyberbullying and bullying in general is wrong um, it's not it, it's not right however however I asked one very simple thing basically Stop bashing me, and I'll stop. I mean, I haven't said one word. Well, I haven't called this particular person one word. Not one. And he has called, and he's, he claims to be anti-bullying, and I'm pretty sure he is. However, I'm anti-bullying as well. However, again, sometimes we can seem like bullies because we stay, say stuff that unintentionally comes out as bullying. When someone is being called blondie four eyes, when someone is being when someone is being called pathetic, when someone is being called idiot, when someone is being called um, moron, dumbass, etc. You know? It's just not right. Now I've called people pathetic and that's wrong. I've called people idiot, again that's wrong, and I've been called an idiot and pathetic, and it's wrong. You know, we may be anti-bullying, a lot of people are, however, sometimes we can say stuff that comes out as bullying and we don't realise it until it's far too late. We don't realise it. Now some of us catch on pretty quickly and quickly apologise and it's all water under the bridge and we go out about our daily lives. <sighs> but yeah, sometimes it's just not like that. So to those who bully, on the, on the playground, at work, online, especially online. Think about what you're doing. Just think, am I affecting this person emotionally and mentally and, and, and physically in any way? You know, instead of bullying them, actually, actually talk to them like a regular person. If you're a troll, then you're beyond help. Um, just get off social media if you're a troll because you've got nothing better to do. <laughs> but those who actually have a heart, who have decency, 
if you're bullying someone, please think about what you're saying, think about what you're doing. And we understand if you respond in anger, I get that. But once you've calmed down, please consider what you said. And if you actually feel it in your heart, apologize to that person. Then again, apologies can be fake. I know I've received quite a few in my time. Last, I received quite a few last year. Quite a few fake ones. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that doesn't matter. It's all, it's all water under the bridge. Mostly. Mostly. Because when I made that cyberbullying video, I was still, I, I just, I made it because I was recently getting bullied online. And unfortunately, I don't think they saw it as bullying, which I completely understand because I've done it myself. And I will say they have apologized, or well, one of them has, and that's good, that's good. I hope that um, yeah, we can continue doing what we're doing, um, at, you know, both being anti-bullying, both continuing doing what we like. which is whatever it might be. I mean, what I like to do is YouTube. And, you know, I've, I've never... I've never... Until recently, I've never been hateful on YouTube. Never. And then I ended up uh, un unintentionally making my views known. I went too far and I unintentionally bullied that person. And I, I, and I have apologized, but once again, I'm deeply sorry. Because I, I never meant it to take that I never meant it to go that far. And I understand why these two specific people came to the defense of that YouTuber. I understand now. I understand why. That's fair enough. Absolutely. Fair enough. Oh yeah, there was one last thing. Story time! Yeah, and I know what you did. Basically, the ugliest prince in the kingdom, Rodney Parker. That's me, obviously. If you think I'm an idiot, I didn't pick up on that. Once again, you're basically calling me ugly. The entire video was about anti-bullying, you know, stopping it and everything, which I, which I agree with. I agree 100%. But towards the end, you just contradicted, you just contradicted yourself by calling me ugly, basically. And Lyrium, or whatever the hell the other person's name was, that's obviously, you were obviously just, you obviously just mentioned my girlfriend, except changed her name. How do I know? Because the surname is Brown. Her surname is Brown, right? If you don't know who I'm talking about, it's Mia, link in the description. Check out our channel if you want. Um, you know, or if you just want, if you're just confused about who I'm going on about, link in the description pretty much explains everything. Well, not everything, but explains why I'm saying like her saying is brown and whatever. That's obviously, obviously, a direct hit on me. That was name calling. You name called me by calling me ugly. I mean, I had to put up with being called ugly for the majority of my school years. Okay? So, this specific person I'm talking about, right, you and I, we're both anti-bullying. And we have both unintentionally bullied someone. I've unintentionally bullied that random YouTuber, and you have actually, no, I reckon you intentionally bullied me. Maybe, maybe not. But calling me pathetic, bloody four eyes, and, and the new one, <laughs> ugly, that's bullying. Name calling is bullying. Plain and simple, bottom line, no matter how you look at it, you, you bullied me. When I haven't said one word to you on YouTube, on YouTube I haven't called you any names, in a video at least. <laughs> In a video, at least. I've never done that. Facebook. But, 
we all need to take a stand. In bottom line, bottom line, we all need to take a stand against bullying. If you see someone being bullied, step in. Especially online. If someone's been bullied online, step in, come to their defense. And if it continues to carry on, then you know, no matter how much defending you do, it's not going to work. You get the person being bullied out of there. Okay? So, for example, say you're on Facebook and, and someone is being bullied that you know. You pro and you, you go to their defense and it, it turns out it's not working. You private message them and tell them to just leave it. To just, just ignore them and block them. That's what you do. But that was just an example. If you're being bullied on the street, or if you see someone being bullied on the street, go to their aid. At work, same again. Because bullying isn't nice in general, no matter what form it is. So I want to stop being bullied because it's not nice as everyone knows and it can do real damage to someone it can do proper lasting damage so that's what we need to do we all need to take a stand against bullying no matter where it is so thank you guys so much for watching um, share this video if you like if you feel the same way as me you want to stop bullying share this video you can cut out you can cut out bits that you know that are just me rambling because sometimes I do that on camera I just randomly rant <laughs> if that is the case I, I don't think so this time but you know you can download you can you can edit out parts send them to a friend although I recommend you send them the whole video because if you actually if you want to if you want to download and edit parts of my video out please ask me first contact me ask me and I will give you permission. So all I ask is that if you choose to do that, please contact me and let me know, and I will give you permission. Unless, of course, I feel it's not. I feel that you know it's not necessary. But for the most part, I will give those permission if they sincerely want to help stop bullying. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all. I'll see you all in the next video.